Greetings, Commandos. This is Pagan Horde, and we are now on our seventh Phantom Brigade output. Please do the YouTube stuff. Every little clicks help a small channel. So when we left off, we managed to ambush a convoy, but it was really gnarly. Uh, one of the new heavies having a gantling gun at very little cover. It was pretty intense. We did, however, salvage that gantling gun. And as well as a blue melee weapon, and we intend to put those to good use. Now, we want to come back inside that zone and try to maybe start contesting that territory. Uh, I believe we have enough resources for a mech frame, but we don't have enough resources to make the upgrade to get a fort unit. So, let's try and get that done. Uh, let's see how this content contention mechanic works. We're gonna go straight into the province. Now that we are refueled and restocked. Press the contest button and see what pops up. Let's try to avoid this patrol for now. Because we want to see what the clear objective will be. There's another one here. Let's pause it here. Press Contest Province. Very good. So now we have a forward base that appeared. And that tick, that will be our objective. Yes. As well as this. Or this. Let's go to the camp. And perhaps after we can try and get that. Suit up. Now, at first, I wasn't, I didn't understand clearly that I needed to press that button to start liberating the region. So maybe we've effed around a bit more than we needed to. But let's see if we can make up the time. We did get at least a convoy and the objective of the farm before we started contesting. So let's see what happens. So, this is the second time we're attacking this base, really, but. Now we are actually contesting and the home guard is gonna help. At least I think that's how it works. And I'm really looking forward to try out this uh, new uh, monster there. As well as uh, try going melee with our boy here. Let's see how that works. Alright, I do love city fights because there's a lot of cover. Oh, and by the way, uh, in between this episode and the last, there was a new patch, uh, 1.04, that addressed one of the difficulty I was having about dodging incoming missiles. It should now be easier to dodge using the dash action. So that's a lot of enemies. Well, six of them. Let's see what they do. You are doing a blocked attack. I'll take it. You are doing... More blocked attack, sure. You are not blocked, but your range is not great. With a, You're trying to do a shotgun at maximum range. That appears to be blocked as well. That appears to be just movement. And that appears to be blocked as well. So most of these attacks are blocked, but they are effectively pinning us down behind those cover. Let's see what we can do. I believe I can go here. And land an attack there on this tank. That seems to work and the attack against us will be still blocked. Start with that. Now, let's see about this new gun. So the, the problem that I can see right away is that you are slow. However, does this work? It does. Let's see this new gun in action then. Okay, so you are the newly equipped missile and melee combination.
You two want to get into the action. So I'm going to make you move here. But we're going to fire our secondary of missiles while doing so. One here and one here. Let's execute this. One volley of missile coming up. Ooh, I love it. You are taking a trashing, buddy. So, you are equipped with the machine gun. And your attack appears to be blocked. You too. Yes. You are charging our Vulcan carrier. I guess that's his name now. So, which one is this? Okay, so that's this tank. Who is missing, pulling back, and then striking back against him. Okay. You are firing at the melee. You are firing at our Vulcan guy. Okay. So, new Vulcan guy. Ooh, that is a lot of heat. You're gonna need more heat management, and if you cannot fire your own weapon without overheating. So we're, we're gonna wait out your your attack. And then move into cover. I cannot wait to see how much damage we actually do with this big gun. So you landed a successful at assault attack. How's this tank feeling, by the way? Not too much. So you will continue doing the exact same thing, I, I wager. From here, blast him. Go around the, the building and blast him again. That sounds good. You die. We're gonna go here. Firing your missile along the way. We wanna get that guy down. And I bet you that at this point next turn I'm gonna be able to do a melee. Okay. Let's uh, try that out. Nice! Taking a bit of hit. That guy appears to be down. Pilot can cast. We'll take it. First casualty. This tank as well is concussed. Marvelous. So. Nobody is... Okay, this is the targeting right there. So we're gonna go play that cat, cat and mouse game. Or do I wait a bit? Yeah, the attack comes at the last moment here. So maybe I'll just stay right here. Attack him. I'm gonna put the wait command all the way to this attack and then start to move. Yeah, I think that'll do. That's your move, okay. This guy is done. So, let's find another victim for our heavy. Yeah, he, he is slow, however. That is the problem. Can I dash? Indeed I can. That's gonna help. I know this will this means a collision, but I'm not gonna be there. 
and start attacking here on him. So you... You want to avoid this damage coming from that guy with the assault rifle. So you're gonna make a dash of your own, but this way. Which means a bit of overheat, but that is fine. And from here, it's... Oh, that's a lot of overheat. Wow. That is a lot of heat for a melee attack. Uh-huh. So, uh... No melee this round? No melee this round. Can I fire a missile? I can. Let's do that. Cool. Let's go this way. Nice. Nice. The Vulcan Cannon. Taking care of business. But he's gonna need more heat dissipation because he's uh, overheating every time he fires. Yeah, good to know. Okay, now that you are here, can you melee? Uh, melee apparently uses a lot of heat, so we're gonna go here. Are you above max range? Uh, looks okay. Even if it's unclear a bit. You will finish your attack and then uh, just issue the wait command. And then just move behind this building. Like that. Alright, so you will go back playing cat and mouse with this guy. And you're gonna fire at him right here. Gotta be careful when our dude is going in melee though. We don't want to fire uh, on, and get on him and gain some crossfire. So we're gonna add a wait command until your attack is complete. And then you're gonna move again the other way. Yeah, move back the other way. Alright, so we're gonna play cat and mouse with you. Cool. Let's see how this works. Nice. Melee. Melee worked, I think. So reinforcements, we have two turns left for the reinforcements. Which is not a lot. So we managed, the melee appears to be successful and created a crash. Not gonna complain. So we're gonna go forward with you here. Can you perform another melee? No, it's too far and there's collision. All right. So we're gonna move away from this collision guy and we're gonna finish him off with her. We're gonna go back toward this way so that we can have more attack of opportunity around there. I'm gonna fire some missile at this boy. You are getting attacked by him, which is a rifle at optimal range. You're getting attacked by both of these, which is not the best. But at the same time, we only have two turns left. So, perhaps we could just take the damage and just do a... Whoop, what's going on? Okay. And do a 
Fuck it. Kill him. Move. Let's do that. Let's see what happens. So you will come back this way. And hammer dude who has crashed. Twice. I should hopefully get rid of him. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, taking a full blast of this guy. But you're tough. You're heavy. So it kind of worked, I guess. All right, so we're trying we're trying to get these guys quickly now because we have only one turn left. So let's be aggressive. You are moving and firing cannon, okay? You're attacking him. Okay. So, more cat and mouse from you. What is the... Okay, so it's just a shield. It's just a shield. So actually, uh, it would be best if I attack before he raises his shield. So let's pump in. It's not the perfect... So let's move back, I guess. It's a little bit better. And the shield comes around here. Attack like this. Maybe do another one at the end there. After he blocks with his shield. Now, Heavy, you're gonna do... Fuck it. Fire. Pilot can cuss. Get the tank, then. You, Mr. Axe guy. I'm gonna rush in. And melee a tank. There we go. Let's see what happens. Oh, taking damage from the turret. I think I made the... Oh, boy. Five more enemies. Okay. I think I made the two tanks crash into each other. All right. So, you, finishing up your attack on him. Turning around and firing back, which makes sense. The attack comes in at 2. So. Gotta be out of there by then. Or do I just shield and fire back? That is an option. Because I can just move in behind here. Wait out his attack. Pop back out. And fight back. I can do that. You. We're gonna move out. I mean, this guy is still alive. These guys are dropping in. This mech is dead, I think. Yes. But this tank is not. This tank is concussed. 
So the last one is this guy. Yeah, and this guy is fully healthy. So I think uh, my best bet would be to get out of the turret range and all that. Go behind. And on my way, I'm gonna fire some missiles at you. Or at you. I cannot. I can at him. Okay. You're finishing up your attack. So you're just gonna move a bit right after. Or during. And you're gonna wait it out. I love that gun. Okay, so how are we doing? This guy here, we get a pilot concussed. Marvelous. So they're all down. No, this tank is still up. Alright, so. Reinforcements. Optimal blocked. That's blocked. That is blocked too. That's just movement. That is blocked. It may sound silly having all those blocked shot, but effectively it's pinning us into position where we cannot be aggressive. As soon as I poke my head out, I'm getting hit. So it's not that counterproductive. Yeah, I'm gonna get hit by it if I do that move. So that's uh, now would be the time to use the shield. Use the shield and then fight back. Cool. So a lot of people are attacking you. But they are being unsuccessful. If I poke my head out here, do I have an angle with the Vulcan? Yes, I do. I'll fire on the tank there. Right, it's gonna be blocked most of the time, okay? Can I move a bit further out? If I do, I will get hit by that guy. So let's rethink this. Yeah, the problem with him is that he, he, he is slow. If I dash forward... I move here. Can I do that? I can fire on the one in the back. It's not great, but it's something. So you want to get out of the turret's range. And you want to go play with these guys in the back. So we're gonna go here. And send some missiles. Okay. See uh, how that goes. That's not the best damage, but it is something. How's that tank feeling? Not too good. It appears that everything is blocked. For you. These guys are fighting back a bit. You're gonna keep moving to this point and here. You're gonna melee that guy. There we go. Sounds like a plan. 
you can almost stay right there because apparently you're not being targeted too much you can get that guy let's use the wait command then we move out this way to avoid the fire uh -huh. or this way Maybe. Gonna fire again from here. It will be blocked. We move out here. If we do an attack somewhere there, no, it's still blocked. bit of this attack is blocked as well. So I think she's gonna stay right there to avoid the damage, really. So you will be continuing to doing that. And then we're gonna just move away. Uh, issue the wait command until the attack is done and then we're gonna try to move away and avoid the sniper fire and from here fire on the tank execute that tank is dead you crashed legs and gun is down Okay. How are you doing here? This melee appears to have been so successful that it took out this guy completely. Marvelous. Above max range. You're gonna keep doing what you do. You are now in big trouble. We're just gonna put you out of harm's way. Even the tank over there is trying to attack you, that's funny. And limp there. So well, the Vulcan gun is pretty cool, but I'm gonna need a faster and more heat dissipating unit to carry it. Going full heavy on it uh, is not being successful. Alrighty then, so we were successful in this. Uh, so now we made a dent in the enemy strength. We have two more objectives here, but we have this battle here this battle site that is being contested and is on a timer so I think we should head there as quickly as we can while we repair on the way that is the plan let's take a look at our units real quick the longbow will give you a better shield A better medium torso. I don't want to go heavy with you. I want to keep you medium. I know there's other options. There's a machine gun as well. But it's heavier. It's going to slow us down a lot. So I want to keep mobile with you. So you're gonna stay as you were. So for you...
this level 2 appears to be superior to this 4. Oh no, because it has more barrier, more heat dissipation. So let's upgrade to 4. Let's use the level 3 one because it has greater heat dissipation and a booster mobility, which we desperately need as well. Improve cooling. Definitely. Can we change the module? We don't have a lot of these, okay. For I uh, would have done more heat dissipation if I could. So you have a thousand integrity in 322 barrier. You are successful as is. The only thing I would perhaps do is uh, give you more mobility. That would mean losing a lot of integrity though. All right, you're going to stay as is. In a perfect world, I would make you a full medium as well so that you can go faster. Let's see uh, Let's see what we got. All right, let's move. Let's not use our booster yet because they, um, perhaps something will pop up like this patrol. I would prefer not to engage the patrol and go directly to this battle site. Now let's engage. Okay, sure. Did we make it to the battle site? I think we did. Cool. We did without encountering the patrol. And this is a threat very hard, you say. Alright. Threat 210 and I'm worth 112. Well done. Our protector is not perfectly repaired, but we have to go. Let's try that out. Okay. Let's see what we have. We have a quiet little town, which is a good terrain for our Vulcan. We have six turns until reinforcement, incoming five units from the patrol that we uh, skipped. Let's try to do it in six because I don't want to face patrols. Mr. Heavy. Oh, so we have help from the home guard this time. Nice. I don't appear to be controlling them though, but I'll definitely take it. So. My heavy. Do you have a shot from here? Yes, you do. So keep on, keep start doing what you do best. You are gonna go this way. I think I'll get a shot around here. No, that is blocked. All of them are blocked. Okay. Let's move uh, this way then. And from there, yeah, I'm good. Okay, and last but not least, our axe girl. We have to be careful not uh, for with friendly fire now, because uh, there's a lot of blue lines coming in as well uh, as uh, red lines. So we're gonna go here, and we're gonna dash this way. Then uh, we should be able to be in melee range next turn. Execute.
Cool. Throw boy here. He's blasting away, but a lot of it will be blocked, sadly. As the uh, enemy reacted and going in under uncover. I'm really happy that the uh, Ohm Guard is taking a lot of the fire for us, so it's freeing up, freeing us to be much more aggressive. Not gonna complain about that. So we're gonna have missile incoming at one point. Can I do a dash at the last minute if we input the wait command? Up until the end. That's gonna be lots of overheat, so. But I will try to avoid the incoming missile by dashing nonetheless. So you're basically gonna finish your attack and move a tiny bit because that's all you can do. Now you are in perfect place to do that. And do another melee. Yep. Let's do blang and blang and see what happens. Okay, execute. That is a lot of bullets. Ho ho! He's finishing up his melee attack. You are finishing up your dash to avoid getting hit. Uh, having allies frees us so much to be more aggressive. I love it. I'm gonna get this guy. Twice. In optimal range, perfect. You're gonna finish your movement and you're gonna start blasting. You're gonna finish your melee attack. And I don't wanna be in the way of all the fire coming coming in this way. So I'm gonna pull out. Hopefully I'm gonna hit both of these tanks with the melee attack. I mean, it looks that way. I'm gonna go up the hill and uh, fire a missile at that point into this guy. Execute! Oh, <laughs> stream of bullets. <laughs> I love it. We might be able to finish them before the reinforcement comes this this time. Which is awesome. Alright, you're being attacked at around a three point and a half second mark. But right now you are Okay. So, let's move here, let's do that, uh, yeah, wait command, wait command until the, the attack, then you're gonna move, oh, that would be a collision with a friendly, so the disadvantage of having so much people, allies, in the, the phrase that there's a lot of collision and friendly fire possibilities. 
So that's the bad part about it. But I do want to go uh, to avoid that damage, so I'm gonna go in cover here. Very good. And then perhaps I can pop back out at the end there. Can I land one last attack? I can. It's not gonna be great, but it's gonna be something. Oh yeah, you want some too? Sniper rifle. That could be that could be a problem. So a sniper rifle is a good counter to him. But uh, let's just turn around and fire. And uh, melee him. We execute. That is a lot of bullets. So you're down. Boom! <laughs> Alright, did that mean uh, the home guard lost one, lost one unit? But that's fine. That is fine. The only thing left is this sniper who is firing back at optimal range at our protector here. So they're having a nice sort of a nice duel. However, my haste in the hole is going to be you here. So you're going to say enough sniper. Boom. And you're not going to fire again so that you do not fire on our own melee mech. You're going to maybe step one, take one step back. Or just stand there. Just stand there. You are done. You can get into range. Let's hope I do not hit my melee guy too much. Ho <laughs> ho the stream of bullets. And to finish it off, boom. Now that is a sexy victory. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, so what do we get? Absolutely a medium torso. Medium legs, perfect. That's gonna upgrade our speed very much. Is that level 4 cluster better than the one our melee is using? Maybe. We got a marksman rifle as well. As well. Level 3 assault. I'll take it. Continue. Now, how did that affect? It affected quite well. We are now down half. Our boards just took 91%, or still at 91%. Didn't took too much damage. So we can perhaps go right into this objective here, which is a patrol. Cool. But that'll be it for this one, guys. Uh, we made a successful double attack into retaking this region. We are now halfway done. We have another objective within our grasp with our mechs being barely damaged at all. So that will be it for this episode. Please do the YouTube stuff, uh, press all the buttons, and we will see you next time.